Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to New Gameplay Today. I am Alex Stadnick, and we have a very special treat for you today. Uh, we are joined by one Marcus Stewart. Hello, sir. Hello, good sir. How are you? I am fantastic, because as much as you are a treat, don't get it twisted, uh, we are joined today by Tom McCall, designer at 13 AM Games. Uh, and what game are we looking at today, Tom? Uh, this is Dawn of the Monsters. It's a uh, game we've been working on for like the last three years or so. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's exciting. Um, <laughs> yeah, let's, let's, let's dive into it. What is, what is Dawn of the Monsters? Uh, so Dawn of the Monsters is a kaiju beat-em-up where you can play alone or with a friend and kind of progress through a series of missions playing as one of four uh, giant monsters and or mechs and or big big person, I guess you could say. <laughs> uh, yeah, you just go around destroying other monsters, destroying cities, that kind of fun stuff. Okay. It's a lot of big man swag in this game. <laughs> I, 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 as I, uh, I was noticing, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where, uh, uh, where did the inspiration kind of come from when, when this was coming together here? Um, well, uh, one of my coworkers, our kind of CEO, is a huge uh, kaiju fan, I guess you could say, uh, mm -hmm. Alex. And um, we've been, you know, wanting to make something with, I guess you could say, deeper combat than some of the other games we've made or kind of explore another genre. And so the idea came that why not just try to make a two and a half D kind of beat em up kaiju game? Uh, it's not something that we've seen a lot of. There haven't been a lot of kaiju games coming out. Uh, well, when we were starting, at least there weren't, and then they've started to pour out <laughs> since. But um, yeah, no, it's just kind of started from there. Mm -hmm. And we've been kind of sitting on it for a while, working at it here and there. But eventually, you know, through some of the Canadian funding options and partnering with WayForward, we turned it into a reality, which has been really nice. Fantastic. Nice. Yeah. Got that sweet S rank there, too. Um, I'm, a, I'm a huge beat em up fan, uh, Tom. Mm -hmm. So this game already speaks to me on that level. I, one thing I noticed is the the art direction has kind of got a uh, almost like a graphic novel kind mm -hmm. of comic book look to it. Do you want to talk yeah. about how you guys landed on that? Oh, um, that's a, it's a long conversation. But um, basically, yeah, we wanted to do something comic booky. We wanted to do something that was kind of unique. Like, for instance, all those characters that you see, they're actually all 2D. None of that is 3D art. I mean, the environment is, but the characters themselves are actually 2D sprites. Um, so yeah, between our art team and our tech team, they kind of tandem made this crazy shader that does a bunch of, well, technical normal reading and things like that to kind of give this cool effect. And then it's just, I don't know, it's, we enjoyed a lot. And I think it was just something that we were really happy to experiment with and, and get something working. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you would never know looking at it. I, I totally wouldn't have guessed that these are two D two D sprites. Um, yeah, that's fantastic. That's, that's the goal. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, achieved. Yeah. Um, what uh, you know, with any good beat 'em up, right? Like the you know, aesthetics are amazing, right? But then also, it's like the moment to moment combat is what brings mm -hmm. people in. What what was the focus for y'all as a team when it when it came to the actual combat of the game? So that was something that we really wanted to kind of do a little differently than most beat em ups. I mean, as much as you can, given the, the space and the constraints of a two and a half D beat em up. But um, playing through a bunch of other beat em ups, like defensive options aren't really a thing that a lot of them present, or um, like the combo systems and things like that, they're usually pretty straightforward. So we wanted to, we wanted to kind of dig deeper into that sort of thing, looking at more. Um, more of like the 3D, I guess you could say, like character action games. So things like Bayonetta or the new God of War, like those were bigger references than I would say other beat em ups for us. Mm -hmm. um, so the goal was to yeah, create something where it's a little more expressive. So you kind of have to react to what the enemy's doing. You can dodge, parry, block. Um, you can cancel. There's a whole bunch of different canceling chains to get different executions going or, or different combo strings. So yeah, that, that was kind of one thing we really wanted to nail. And I think, I mean, in my opinion, I think we've done a pretty good job with it. I'm really hoping that when, when fans get their hands on it, they agree, but. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And we're seeing here maybe a little bit of RPG influence mm. here uh, with the yeah. inventory. Do you want to go into this? Yeah, so that was a, those were augments. So every time you beat a level, the game kind of ranks you. So depending mm -hmm. on how you performed, you get anywhere between F and S and you get different, tiers of upgrades or augments um 
depending on your performance. So if you do better, you'll get better stuff. Um, and then you can go through, and as you saw there, you can equip three different augments to any of the characters, and uh, they do a variety of different things uh, besides just kind of buffing your general stats, like your attack, your defense, those kinds of things. There's also, a, we call them perks, and they... The goal is to change kind of how you interact with the game a little bit. So there are perks where um, some of the ones that got up there were like executing heals for twice as much, uh, or you can't be stunned when you're performing your light attacks or things like um, you generate more rage, which is one of our meters, but your the attacks that actually generate the rage do significantly less damage. But when you actually spend it, it does more damage. So things like that, where you're putting together these builds through these three different augments and trying to kind of craft a play style out of it that's mm. kind of the goal okay can you talk about pretty <laughs> nutty <laughs> <laughs> yeah, perfect uh can you talk about some of the other characters that you can play as see we switch to this cool sort of giant mm. robot uh yeah. how many different characters can we expect to see so there are four different playable characters the first one there um was megadon he's uh kind of like the staple i guess you call him like the the ryu of our game where uh, right. he kind of does everything but like an all-around butter character yeah uh and then you have somebody this is tempest here she's our mech um and she's a ranged kind of character she, she specializes in keeping things away from her and um a lot of her attacks like she just threw a mine down there which she then she can remote detonate to pull people in and knock them up that kind of stuff or she has several cannon blasts that just keep people at a distance but she's um a little more susceptible to getting like if she gets ganged up on it's a little harder for her to deal with that because she doesn't have like really strong eight-way attacks that was a cataclysm attack that just went off which is kind of like the this game's ultimate special you can okay. see she cleared the whole screen with that but yeah um that's tempest then there's aegis prime who is a uh ultraman inspired i guess you could say okay. and he's the faster more mobile character he's combo dependent he hits quickly does a lot of various attacks but they don't deal as much single damage and he's also uh, more focused on doing single target damage than aoe and then there is ganira who i think is coming up after tempest here and ganira is a I, we tried to make her a little more defense oriented but i think we ended up leaning more into her having her summoned pet so one of her abilities is she summons a crab that fights alongside you oh cool um, and you can use that crab to kind of proxy rage attacks i guess you could say so whatever rage attack you do the crab will also do so you can kind of mirror depending on the situation um yeah i mean th those are the four mm -hmm. they each they each play very differently than, than each other that's one thing that we've heard whenever people get their hands on the game um which is one of the goals that we had so Perfect. happy to hear that but uh yeah. yeah there's a lot for everybody i'm sure people yeah. will be able to pick and find their favorite character we have pretty polarizing opinions in the office so <laughs> perfect yeah. yeah i you know uh the world has been what it's been over the last couple of years mm -hmm. and um you know i'm sure development game development was already hard but you know covid made it harder i'm curious tom what what are you most proud of with this game uh uh especially developing it over the last three years um for me i would say that um the the interaction between the combat and that augment system that I was talking about mm -hmm. is something that I'm, I'm pretty happy with, like how drastically the game can feel, like the changes can feel depending on what you build towards, I think is something that we set out to do and actually managed to do it. Um, and the other is just the general, like the combat in the game to me feels good. Like we had, to, I, I played a bunch of different beat em ups when we were trying to like, you know, do research and see what other things are going on. Mm -hmm. um, and to me, like this is one of the few where I, I can kind of just play it and I don't ever like it, it sucks me in more than the other ones. And I, like, I'm trying to not toot my own horn here too much. <laughs> toot it. It's the time. Toot <laughs> it. Yeah. I mean, will it's, this be uh, playing? Cause I saw a lot of A and S ranks. Yeah. This is, this is, this is gameplay. This is my gameplay. Yeah. Um, um, so yeah, I mean those, those two moments. And then I think just generally, um, of the games that we've made so far, just the level of polish, um, we were able to achieve with this one the like we actually got the time we needed to 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 make everything the way we wanted to and we've had a lot of time to refine things and, and go back and adjust things if they weren't going the way we weren't which isn't always 
the lo- you don't usually get that luxury as an indie developer sometimes sometimes no. you're pretty beholden to a deadline so right. um i'm not saying that we weren't in this case it's just that we've kind of managed to scope it out a little more appropriately for ourselves this time okay yeah. and is there uh because one of the big things about beat-em-ups is co-op can you play with mm-hmm. another person in this game and- yeah yeah so it's a uh, two-player co-op um they can join and join you wherever you are you can the augments are all shareable between all the characters so there's no catch up or anything like that if you had a second player um yeah it's it's a lot of fun um the game obviously scales to match um okay and things like that yeah and um i don't know if i should plug certain platforms but we've been trying the uh the steam play together or the role play together or whatever and it okay. works surprisingly well and so that's that's something that was really kind of like a a nice thing to have happen during the time of COVID where getting people together in a room is a little tricky. For sure. Uh, having, having an avenue where we can just play through built-in systems is really nice. For nice. sure. It, is it local or online co-op only? Uh, local. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, gotcha. But things like Steam Remote Play or I think there's a program called Parsec. They're, they're out there. You could do it together if you really, really wanted to. Yes. Yeah. Also, are... congrats on the S plus rank. I've never seen that <laughs> in a video <laughs> game. Yeah. <laughs> I I've played this a little bit once or <laughs> once, once or twice. twice. Yeah. <laughs> um. Are, is there any any kind of final uh, points we want to hit on today, Tom? Is there anything uh, else that you want to discuss before we say goodbye? Um. I mean, to to the people that are you know watching this video and thinking about it, um, this I, I hope that this game is really appealing to you. I, I hope that this is something that when you guys pick it up, play it, you can really enjoy it. Um. We're going to be listening for feedback, so if you have any or if there's anything, um, send it our way. We'll be sure to be taking a look at it, as our team is pretty neurotic about that stuff. <laughs> um, but overall, just in general, like it's a, it's a fun kaiju game. The the entire scenes are typically destroyable, so everything in the scene that you can see there is destructible. You can have a lot of fun just doing that. Really, I don't know. It's yeah. uh, it presents as I think I was saying this before the interview it presents as what it is pretty strongly. So <laughs> what you see is kind of what you're going to get. And it's uh, I'm very happy with it so far. Good. Yeah. That's awesome to hear. Uh, Marcus, any final uh, comments or anything? Uh, yeah, this looks cool. Like I said, I'm a beat em up guy. So I'm always mm-hmm. looking forward to brand new beat em ups, especially ones that do things differently. Uh, you don't really see a lot of Kaiju games. Uh, that often, honestly, which is yeah. kind of disappointing because it seems like a pretty easy genre to knock out of the park. Uh, so, you know, if you're, I think if you're a fan of uh, playing as giant monsters or a cool Super Sentai of robots, this seems mm-hmm. to be checking off a lot of boxes. Fantastic. Well, yeah. Tom, thank you so much for for joining us. Do you uh, can people follow you on social media uh, or uh, the, the, the crew? Yeah. So I think we're. I believe we're just at 13 AM Games on cool. YouTube twitter all that fun stuff okay cool well viewers thank you so much for watching uh if you enjoyed this be uh sure to like share and subscribe over on youtube.com slash game informer we have so much awesome preview content reviews content you know the whole thing at this point so thank you for watching be good to one another and we will see you next time bye everyone bye